Welcome, my name is Adam Rafael Niasov, and today we will be discussing the laws of eating food that comply with the strict standards of Jewish law. This video is Lelu Nishma Yitzhak Ben Tova Ve Banu Bad Kamok. In this video, I will be discussing the halachot of eating kosher and how to know if you are eating kosher. First and foremost, what does kosher mean? Kosher means fit or valid, and if you are talking about food, then you mean fit for consumption according to Jewish law. Now, non-edible or poisonous products are never kosher, and if you are forced to eat them, no blessings are said over them whatsoever. All fruits and vegetables are kosher, however, they must be checked for uh, greens, greens like lettuce and broccoli, etc., must be checked since they may contain tiny bugs and tiny, and those bugs are, are not kosher. Dairy products get a little, a little bit more complicated. Since Torah law dictates that the milk must come from a kosher animal and no other creature. To ensure this, a Jew must watch over the milking process and make sure that the milk is used in the final product and not any other milk. This is very hard to do nowadays, and most dairy farms and factories do not do this in the United States. And so Rabbi Moshe Feinstein, one of the most famous Orthodox Jewish legal authority figures of the 20th century, created a leniency based on this matter. This leniency is based on the fact that the Uni that United States law dictates that dairy farms may only produce cow milk and were a dairy farm to get caught milking other animals, their business could be shut down. As the government does monitor, and as free market enterprises are not interested in being closed down by the government, if they can avoid it, he claims that we can be sure that the milk in this country comes from cows. Another fact that he considered is that no merchant would sell a more expensive product at the price of a cheaper one. And so since cow milk is more, is more readily available and therefore cheaper, no person would substitute cow milk in for camel milk. However, he does advocate and prefers drinking halav Israel milk, milk that is washed over by a Jew throughout the whole process. This milk is usually more expensive and is usually drunk by more stringent Jews. The company OU used Rabbi Moshe Feinstein's leniency, and so every product that, the, that has the kosher symbol OU with a, D, with a D next to it uses Rabbi Feinstein's leniency. There is nothing wrong with drinking this milk, and it is completely kosher. One important thing to remember is that meat and milk cannot be eaten together and one must wait a minimum of six hours after eating, after eating meat in order to eat something dairy. Milk and meat may, cannot be cooked together even if they won't be eaten and the same pot or pan cannot be used for meat and milk even at separate times. Concerning par of things, Anything that does not contain meat or milk or process in facilities that process in meat or milk are par. Par products may be eaten after or with milk and meat. You can see which products are par if they contain an OU symbol without, without the D on the packaging. Eggs are par products, for instance, and, but they can only be eaten if there is no blood in the egg. Concerning meat, Kosher meat is most, most commonly found in cows, lambs, chickens, quails, and turkey. The slaughtering by professional certified shofet, uh, slaughterer, and the well-being of the animal during the slaughtering are essential to the kosher status of the, of the product, of the meat. The animal must be healthy at the time of its slaughtering and must have a quick and as painless and as, painless as possible death. The lungs must be checked for signs of holes and tears, and this is especially important for cows. A hole that is found in the cow's lung renders that cow completely not kosher. Adhesions in the animal's lungs are problematic, either because they indicate the presence of a perforation that has been insufficiently sealed, or because they can become loosened, loosened thereby causing a hole to develop. In the United States, lung adhesions usually do not occur on fowl, and so the rest of this, of this discussion will concern only meat and not chicken. Ashkenazim have a leniency based on the Rema, a sage that decided many alakot that are followed to this day by the Ashkenazim, that provides them with a more lenient method of checking the lungs, and which results in many more animals being kosher for them. 
it should be emphasized that the Rahman's ruling is certainly legitimate and in, the and in theory, non-glad kosher meat, if inspected properly, is 100% kosher for Ashkenazim. However, this leniency does not apply if it is a young animal like a calf or a lamb. It, then Ashkenazim would have to eat glad kosher or bet yourself meat. Sephardim do not follow this leniency at all and may only eat glad kosher or bet yourself meat. A common misconception is that glad kosher means something like extra kosher and applies to chicken and fish as well as meat. In reality, this is not so. Glad means smooth in Yiddish and is used when referring to the lung of a cow specifically. Glad in Hebrew would be halak. When meat is glad kosher, it means that the lungs of an animal were smooth without any adhesions that could potentially cause the animal to be not kosher. Glad kosher is considered to be kosher by all, and Bet Yosef is on a higher level still. The difference between them is that Bet Yosef typically means that there were no adhesions on the lungs at all. Glad kosher means that any adhesions were, that were found are exceptionally thin, even as thin as a sewing, th th as a sewing thread. And the adhesion peeled off easily, leaving no hole, in, no hole in the lung wall, and the adhesion-less lung passed air water test. The air water test is a simple test where the lung is filled with air or water to determine if there are any holes in them with which the air or water can escape from. Nowadays, the OU, the VHQ, and some other kashrut organizations in the US will only certify meat that is glad kosher minimum. Also, not necessarily bit yourself. Links have been provided below to check if an establishment is certified to be glad kosher. And with this, we conclude the brief summary of, of the halachot of kosher foods. We wish you all of you a blessed day.